hello everyone in this video we will see how to set up a Linux environment on a Windows machine in order to do development on Hyperlaser Fabric in order to do the development using Hyperlaser Fabric on Linux machine we had two options earlier first is the dual boot and second is using the virtual machine using the virtual machine it was consuming a lot of memory so if the person who is having 8 GB RAM in a system it was very difficult to do the development using the virtual machine because it consumes a lot of memory and sometimes the system will stuck the good news is on May 12 2020 WSL2 a new version of WSL is released that changed the how the Linux distribution interact with Windows WSL2 has the primary goals of increasing file system performance and adding full system called compatibility. Each Linux distribution can run as WSL1 or as WSL2 and can be switched between at any time. Now I will show you how to move your development workflow to Windows 10 and WSL2 its new feature and what to expect in the new feature now coming to the installation Microsoft promises a smooth installation experience in the new future for WSL2 and the ability to update the Linux kernel via Windows update for now the installation process is a bit more involved but it's nothing scary in this example, we will install Ubuntu 18 on Windows 10. But the process is the same for any distribution available in Microsoft Store. First, you should enable the Windows subsystem for Linux option feature. Open the PowerShell as administrator. And here we have to run the following command on the next step we will update our system to WSL2 for this Windows 10 must be updated to version 2.0.0.4 and Intel's virtualization technology must be enabled in BIOS settings then in the PowerShell we are already in the administrator mode and run the following command now restart your machine to complete the WSL install and update to WSL2 once your machine is restarted check the about section and in this section it should update the version to 2004 so if you see the detail here so it's a video is Windows 10 Pro and the version is 2004 which is required also you need to check features check click on turn Windows feature on and off and go to the Windows virtual machine platform so this should be checked and uh, Windows subsystem for Linux so because of the execution those command these two system will be checked now we have to install the Linux distribution so you have to open the Microsoft store and search for the Ubuntu 18 so here's the search option so just search for Linux and here are the search results so here multiple options we have Ubuntu 20, Ubuntu 18 so I have just installed Ubuntu 18 in my system so just click on that if you want to install Ubuntu 20 then you can click on the Ubuntu 20 and uh, I have already installed it just you have to click on the install option if it comes and uh, and we have to click on the launch option next we have to search for Windows terminal so go back click on search tap here terminal so it's here is the Windows terminal. 
so I have just already installed it you have to click on the install option and once it is installed then you have to click on the launch so the Windows terminal is just a replacement of the command prompt or a DOS box so if you just type here command so we are getting this option and if you type the terminal so here is the Windows terminal so here we can get lot of options so no need to open all the windows so here we have an option so if you want to open the command prompt or Ubuntu or Azure console cloud shell anything you can open from this side so that's it our Linux environment is now ready so our Ubuntu 18.04 is installed so now we will see how to install docker desktop for WSL2 for that you need to go to hub.docker.com slash edition slash community slash docker ce desktop windows and that click on get docker I have already downloaded it so you just need to download it from here and install it in your system next we need to install visual studio code so you need to go to code.visualstudio.com click on download and install once it is installed we may need to log out and log in once again so once the installation is done and the, we logged out and log in so we can just go to the Windows terminal click on the Ubuntu and check docker ps so now the docker command is working so docker is installed properly and if you want to open the Visual Studio code from here so just type the command code dot so it will just open the Visual Studio code yeah it's taking a little bit of time depending upon the system configuration so yeah Visual Studio code is loading so that's it if uh, you feel any issues or if you are not able to uh, perform anything or if you get any issues in while doing the installation or setting up the uh, Ubuntu system in the Windows feel free to reach out to me uh, you can comment on on the below section so thanks